Andrea Harris, otherwise known as West Flying Sparrow Woman. And first off, I just want to thank you and say miigwech for coming here today to stand here again, no matter rain or shine. And as, as I already said, we're here today because it was in 2014 that Tina Fontaine was, was pulled from the Red River and that that breaks my heart because I remember being a 13 year old girl standing there as well protesting for Tina Fontaine. I remember when we closed down Portage and Main Street and we shut it down and we did the most beautiful round dance for her. I remember when we were doing the Take Back the Night marches back in 2014 and we were shouting for the injustices that she had faced and it struck me personally because over it he speaks about how the system failed his sister and also failed him. And I went through that same process and everything that he speaks about is true. I grew up in the shelters for a good two years of my life. I was in group homes and dangerous ones at that. I was considered a high risk youth and a danger to society for something that was unfairly bestowed upon me, and as many of us are. I spent months upon months living in hotels, just like he talks about, in motels at that. Like he says, with strangers. These people work in shifts and they come in every six to 12 hours, and you never know who's gonna come the next day. They can't guarantee you that kind of safety. I ran away from my home, many, Many, many of times, I was placed in crisis centers and psych wards because I was running away from the problems that they were throwing at me. And nothing, nothing changes. When I turned 21 and I finally aged out of care, they threw me out the door after I had just newly given birth to my daughter. And the birth alerts that he talks about, they still go on too. My youngest little brother was birth alerted back in 2017 on the, on the very day he was born. Within that same month, they applied to make him a permanent ward of CFS. My mother didn't have a chance to fight. And now we're still standing here today. And it sucks, it sucks because we come out over and over again and we talk about what kind of problems go on within these systems. And nobody, nobody blinks an eye. And there's a lot of corruption and there's a lot of cracks within those systems that we fall through. And it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, when, when you make that correlation of the intergenerational trauma that was unfairly bestowed upon you through residential schools and the 60s scoop and the child welfare system. Over 80% of kids in care in Manitoba are indigenous. A majority of the people incarcerated in Manitoba are indigenous and they use those statistics against you. But you don't see anything change. So, I hope that we can bring back that energy and that fight that we put on for Tina Fontaine because it's still going on 10 years later and we need to continue gathering and speaking upon this so that we can come together finally and find a healthy resolution because if they're not going to save us we need to start saving our own people and if and if we don't do it it's our younger generations who will have to fight it. Those same ones that will still go through that system if we don't make that change now. And that's important. So I just wanted to say thank you for coming and Cat Morgan is still there. We've been there since December 8th of 2023. And it's a memorial encampment because my mother was an indigenous vulnerable woman on the streets for a good majority of my life. And there were many, many stories that my mother had told me of the fears that she herself 
had living on those streets. And I watched it happen to her. And I remember being a young 14 year old girl running away from home and having these men in Mercedes Benz quite literally coming up to me and asking me for sexual favors. The only difference now is that there's 20, 30, 40, 50 more of them and they hide within the shadows of society. So be careful who you're friends with and continue to have these conversations. And lastly, search the damn landfills. Miigwech. Thank you.